What's up again guys, Plamuga here and now we're gonna have a review on this the Mecha Godzilla model kit from Aoshima and the review starts right now. Taking a look at the model kit right here, as we can see, Aoshima has produced a very, very awesome representation of Mechagodzilla in its plastic model form. And all the details are very sharp. Details here are very, very accurate, as you can see right there. But there's one glaring thing in my copy, at least, and that is this hinge, which doesn't seem to stay on. Well, you can't compare it to Bandai, but this is just a simple issue it, it's nothing that can be fixed with glue I'm just putting it out so maybe you have uh, the same issue as mine anyway in terms of posability the head can go side to side can go up and down very very good movement the mouth can open you can see right there it can open the shoulders they are limited although they can spin around 360 bicep swivel no forearms the shoulder can bend like that and hands are in the ball joint the waist they can swing down swing up they can do side to side movement a little and then the feet they can push forward only that much push back that much the knee movement only that far and then the feet are on hinges so just you can do just that overall Mecha Godzilla is well obviously as to be expected not the most possible of model kits but hey it's really really awesome and you can for a kaiju kit you can do a lot of poses with this guy and details here are represented very very well as you can see the plastic although the plastic here is really really dull it's more of like a glossy gray it's not even glossy it's a dull gray and there are parts of the plastic here that's made of soft rubber mainly the neck some here on the crotch that is rubber and some segments on the tail is rubber although if you can see that not all the tail pieces are in rubber it's just here in this dull plastic so you have to paint this that is the only painting that I can see if you really want to have a show accurate Mecha Godzilla. anyway in terms of gimmicks it has this the open chest piece you can see that for its uh, beam attack unfortunately there are no beam effect parts so you are out of luck on there also you have two sets of eyes one is the red one and one is the yellow one uh, just choose what uh, what eye color you like and then just stick it on there because it's just made of clear plastic and the hips they have opening pla uh, opening flaps so you can add a rocket in there booster and that is a neat feature so let's get into the accessories first up we have another set of hands this one are the more close uh, what can you say this more closely um, aligned rather than the one that I have right here which is open so <laughs> the, the differences are really really small so I don't know what's the purpose of these hands and then there is the backpack the backpack is really awesome it's thin it's very detailed you can see blue and then gunmetal color and what you're gonna do attaching the backpack is as soon as I assemble my fins here you can remove three um, three dorsal plates these three so just remove those and then just slot in the backpack like so and you have Mega Godzilla with its backpack pretty pretty cool and then to complete Godzilla you also have this these are attached to his forearms 
and as you can see there are two sizes of this gun the one is the extended barrel and the one is the tucked in barrel you can choose whatever you like just have to put in the corresponding barrel when attaching it I like to mix it up one short and one long and then for the blades it's this although it's not retractable it's just a single fixed blade so there we go and then there are rubber attachment pieces right here you can just stick it in there are just holes there's no grooves in there and then corresponding shoulder this just friction will do the trick right here and then just attach it like so and there we have mecha godzilla all weaponed up and ready for battle against other kaijus and like i said before and the and the thighs there are open flaps here which you can attach boosters it's simple just put it there uh, once again friction will do the trick here and there we go and the last bit of accessory that we have are water slide decals you can add water slide decals in here when painting and i do really suggest painting this guy because the dull plastic is really bad it will just drown out in the sea of model kits in your shelf and i believe this will look cool in steel or in chrome whichever you prefer i'm um, leaning against chrome i like the shiny shiny look so it will have a very very imposing effect on the shelf next to other kaijus and model kits that i have when it's displayed now for size comparisons godzilla here the the model kit is really really tall it stands around nine inches so comparing it to um, a standard model kit like this one the rx 78 2 master grade you can see that mecha godzilla has a really really imposing height let's compare it to other kaijus i have this one the NECA shin godzilla awakening version the review for this one is coming really soon and just size comparisons first it's really small and another important kaiju to compare is the 2014 legendary godzilla also review for this is coming really soon so stay tuned for that and there we go again it's not in scale unfortunately uh, mecha godzilla here is really in a class of its own uh, you can't find any kaijus to scale for this one uh, putting it aside next to my gigantic mecha godzilla and uh, well yeah there we go <laughs> overall uh, unless aoshima releases a model kit of a kaiju in scale for mecha godzilla there is nothing in scale for this guy it's cool it's imposing but it's a unique piece because you can't do any battle po battle poses with other kaijus because it's too big but uh, with just um, some uh, um, perspective of photography you can do just that maybe you can trick uh, you can do some trick photography with other kaijus to make it seem like they're in scale uh, that's the only advice that i can give to you right now anyway mecha godzilla from aoshima i believe this one is really awesome sure it's not detailed um, it's, it doesn't have an inner frame like a Bandai kit, like a Gundam kit. The plastic is fairly hard. It's not forgiving. So you do have to be cautious when building this. But you'll have a lot of fun. The details here on the outside is great. You can't expect an inner frame but the details outside is really, really awesome. And that's about it. Aoshima's Mecha Godzilla Type 3 Kiryu. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and as always if you guys like everything that i make please do share and subscribe to the channel it helps me a lot and as always i hope you guys enjoy the hobby see ya